Hi everyone, my name is Dr. Melissa Estevio. I'm a licensed clinical psychologist and owner of Biltmore Psychology and Counseling. Today I wanted to talk with you guys about this concept of what should we do when we're in a situation that's super hard, super negative, super sucky, and there's nothing that we can do about it. So many times in counseling people will come in and they'll present a negative circumstance and they're really hoping to feel empowered to take some steps to be able to get themselves out of this situation. And the vast majority of the time there's many very reasonable steps that people can take to change their circumstances but there are certainly times where people's situations are really hard and quite frankly there's not a lot that they can do to change it currently I feel like we're living through one of those things as a world that we're in the midst of a pandemic it's super hard there's so much loss there's so much sadness there's so much anxiety and there's not a lot that we can really do to change all of that. And so I felt like this concept was very timely today. Um, one of our marriage and family therapists at Biltmore Psychology and Counseling is this lovely therapist named Nikki Argon, and she just wrote a blog post on this about how we can keep taking steps forward and why that's so important. So I'll definitely put that link below so you guys are able to check that out in addition to this. So. The very first thing that we can do to be able to take some steps forward in the midst of a situation that's hard, that we're kind of powerless to change, is to embrace that the hardship is a challenge. So this is a really big reframe. Um, it's very normal and understandable to look at this and feel just overwhelmed by how um, difficult and sad the situation is. But for many of us, it feels so different to be able to look and say, this is a challenge and because it's a challenge, it's meant to be hard, it's meant to stretch us, it's meant to be something where we don't get it right the first time. But it's a situation where we're gonna stretch, we're gonna grow, we're gonna change through all of this and it can feel so good to get to the other side and say, I overcame that challenge, I got through that hardship and really to walk away with a positive sense of pride going through something like this. I think an important second thing that we can do is we can focus on the fact um, that we can't control the hardship, but we can control the way we react. Um, Viktor Frankl was a psychiatrist that went through Auschwitz and World War II and the Holocaust, and he was really one that so beautifully wrote about the people that lost their sense of ability to choose the way they felt, they lost that sense of hope. They were the people that really weren't able to survive so often. But when people were able to say, regardless of what you take from me, you can never take away my ability to choose the way I react, that at its very core says, things can be sucky, but I still have some sense of control of my reaction and that can feel so empowering. A third thing that we can do is really focus on the fact that some of our biggest places of character, of resiliency, of impressive parts of who we are, are not born in us genetically, but are born out of negative circumstances that we've had to learn to overcome. So a part of me hates that really our ability to learn to be patient often comes from having to wait. Our ability to be flexible often comes out of a situation that was highly variable, that our best characteristics come out of the midst of hardship. And so as much as we hate it, as much as we don't want it to happen, it is a perfect place for us to be able to grow and to be better people. And so in the midst of all of this, I know that the piece that I'm, I'm currently learning to do differently is how to be flexible, how to adapt. I'm someone that will often find um, certain ways to cope with things or certain strategies. And in the midst of this pandemic, a lot of those things have not been available and it's normal to feel very frustrated, but I do think we have to look at this as a challenge to say, well, now's the time to be creative. Now's the time to do something that we've never done before for and see if that works this time. And I think on the other side of this, guys, we'll really find that while it was horribly hard and there was tragic things that happened, that there still will be some good that comes out of it in our growth if we embrace that and we look for those things. As always, we want you to be able to leave questions in the comments below. And like I said, look for that link that's connected to the blog post on this by Nikki Aragon. That's excellent. Um, and we hope you guys stay positive out there. We know that it's hard, but we're here with you. And we want to produce more content like this, so stay tuned for future. Thanks.